Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel and this is Nisi LaShawn and today I'm going to be sharing with you three tips that help me to save $10,000 in just six months. Yes. So, go get you something to drink. Go get a snack. Go get you a pen and a notepad and take some notes, okay? So these are my little cue cards that I did make to help me kind of keep this video on point and organized. So I will be looking down a little bit throughout the video um, so that I can kind of keep you guys engaged and share all the tips that I wrote down, okay? So the first thing is to set a budget. So if you're planning on saving $10,000 in six months, that's roughly, I'm rounding it up a little bit, it's roughly like $1,700 a month in order to, a little bit under $1,700 a month in order to get the $10,000 in the six months, okay? So the first thing is to set a budget, 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 budget. You have to set a budget. You have to list everything that you are responsible for, whether it's rent, child care, car note, insurance, utilities, everything that is basically an essential that you have to pay for. You need to make a list of that. Also make a list of things that you can live without. Some things are going to have to go. For instance, like if you're paying, um, a crazy amount um, for car insurance you know shop around try to get those rates lowered or if you have um, expensive car payment try to get your car refinanced me personally I didn't have any crazy expenses that was just so crazy that I had to get rid of it like Netflix Hulu anything like that I didn't have anything you know I, I usually um, for the most part live below my means anyway so I didn't have to get rid of any of that but you you might have to so just kind of just assess your income and kind of go from there the next tip is to maximize your income yes if you make two two thousand dollars a month which is you know a lot of people make about two thousand or less depending on you know your income um, maximize your income if your job that you're working uh, requires you to work overtime or allows you to work overtime work it work as many hours as you possibly can pardon me personally when i first started off on my savings journey um to get the ten thousand um in six months i literally uh, was not getting overtime at my position that i work at now my job that i work was not offering overtime but i did um get another uh, job so that's my um second part of this tip too is to get a second job if you have to if you have to deliver pizzas on the weekend the weekdays hell if you've got even if you got to pick up cans look where there's a will there is a way they have so many different things ways that now that you can you know maximize your income you can drive for lyft uber you can do doordash uber eats favor the list you know goes on um find a side hustle you know um a side hustle second job uh, work overtime maximize all of your opportunities to make money you must do that me personally i got a second job a temporary second job over the summer that lasted me about a month um, i was able to save about two thousand between two thousand and twenty two hundred dollars or whatever just from getting a second job for one month and i know a lot of people who make a lot of money from driving for Lyft or Uber. I personally did not go their route to make extra money. I um, got a second job for a short period of time and that was how I was able to maximize my income. Um, by the time the fall rolled around last year, my um, current position was offering overtime. So I took as, I worked as many hours as I was allowed um, to hit my savings goal. Okay, so get the income up. The third tip is to set up a plan of how you're going to save. Um, some people have a direct deposit. Most people have direct deposit nowadays. Um, a lot of people like to take out a certain amount of, of their paycheck in order to save. Me personally, I did not go that route um, of deducting a certain amount of my paycheck each time I got paid. That just in the past has never worked for me. Um, what did work for me, I kind of reverse engineered my savings. I first started off with a savings goal as small as like 100 bucks. I said, you know what, I'm not going to let, you know, my savings go below 100. And then it was 150. And then eventually 
150 turned into 500, 500 turned into 750, 750 turned into 1,000 and 1,200 and 2,000. And before I knew it, I had $10,000 saved. So it's, it's pretty amazing. So, um, and actually, um, this is not a tip, but this is just um, a fun fact. I literally had a savings goal to save $1,500 for the year of 2020. Um, but I would say about the fall of last year, 2020, when I started to see my savings really grow, I, I upped my goal to 5000 And before I knew it, I already had $10,000 saved. So I didn't start off on this journey to saving my first $10,000. Um, with the goal of saving 10000 It kind of just spontaneously happened that way. But um, you can achieve it in less than six months. You can do four months. It just depends on what your income is, what, you know, things that you are responsible for. You know, if you have kids, then you might want to adjust it. I personally don't have any children, so I, I don't have that extra money going out of the house. Um, I cut down on shopping. Um, that's another thing. Cut down on all of your expenses. Like, you don't have to go shopping. You know, it's COVID. I mean, not many people are going places anyway. Well, they shouldn't be going. But anyway, that's never another year they're there. So, um, yeah. Um, so, what I did, I kind of got completely off topic. But back to the saving, um, saving strategy. That's the strategy that I use to save my money. Um, you could, if even if you have to save in a shoebox. You know, if that's your style and that's, you know, basically the route you want to go to saving your money. Anything that works. Like I said, me personally, taking money out of my uh, main checking account, going to my savings has never been a success for me. It wasn't until I reverse engineering how I saved my money. Um, wasn't until I did it like that and I actually saw a result in saving. Okay. So... Um, another tip as far as saving, um, you might want to get like a savings account that's, you know, in a totally different bank. Like if you have Bank of America, get your a Capital One savings. Get your savings account in a different bank where you cannot constantly see the balance. Because a lot of times what happens is if you have your uh, checking and savings, let's say a Bank of America, every time you log on to the online banking, you're going to be constantly looking at what you have in both your checking and your savings, and that is very detrimental to your savings journey, okay? Another tip is, sorry guys, I'm trying to get myself organized here. After you've maximized all of your um, income, whether you work in overtime, work in side hustles, come up with how you're going to fit this into basically your savings schedule, right? So if you are planning to save the 1600, 16 is literally 16, I can't can't say it, it's a tongue tie. 16, 1666 dollars each month, roughly a little bit under $1,700 a month, then basically just going back to the budget, write down your budget, how you're gonna fit this into your income. No, you don't need to you know, go broke trying to save 10000 You know, you can literally take this 10000 goal and make it a $5,000 goal or 3000 You know, the goal is just to save something. You might not be able to, you might not have the income to save 10000 in six months, but even if you save $1,000 in six months, that's better than, save, that's better than saving zero. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me drink some drink. I realize that Saving $10,000 in six months is very, very, very aggressive and almost impossible for some people. So, again, take these tips, um, and I'm going to recap them before I get out of here and close this video out. Take these tips and use it to your advantage. Tip number one, maximize your income. Again, that's working overtime, as much overtime as you possibly can. Um... Get a side hustle, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Lyft, pick up cans if you have to, babysit, dog walk. I won't be dog walking. I wouldn't ever dog walk because I personally don't like dogs and I'm kind of scared of dogs. But, you know, there's a lot of people out here that are dog lovers. You know, do whatever you can. Also, work a second job if you have to. Um, 
get a, a savings account that's in a different bank than the one that you used for your checking. Um, and also budget, set a budget and stick to it. Yes. All right, guys. So that's all my tips. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, I will probably do a follow-up video um, going more in, in depth and detail of how I really saved the 10000 This was just kind of like an introduction to, you know, kind of give you like an overview of how you can, you know, start your savings goals. I will be doing a video, um, a sinking funds video, um, showing you how I budget my money each month and, you know, be sharing some tips and stuff like that of how you can save as well as budget from month to month. So stay tuned for that video. I'm so excited to get this video out to you guys. And I hope I share some tips that can help you or um, help somebody else that you know that needs some help getting started with saving. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.